Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to get to your Managed Companies page and explain a little bit about how it works and how it ties in with contacts and opportunities. First of all, there are a variety of different ways to get to your Managed Companies page or grid. For example, on the dashboard, you can select your companies added this week or the total amount of companies underneath that. You can select on your recently updated companies or you can use the side navigation and click on companies and then manage companies. And we are now shown the manage companies page. This page or grid will hold every company that you have either created or imported into your CRM. Real quick on the note of creating, you are able to create a company or anything using the universal creator plus button in the top navigation. Also, each grid has its own individual create button, which is located here. Either one does the same function for creating a company, so feel free to use whichever one is more convenient for you. Now speaking of the grid, you can see the default grid columns. We have company name, which is self-explanatory, source, which is the way you found or communicated with them, being either a phone call, you spoke to the owner, the person who originally created the company and is in charge, um, email, and the date created. Next to that we have the actions column. In the actions column we have three icons. We have a viewer preview that lets you see the company details page, and then an edit to edit and update details, and then the remove option. In case you want to remove a company that you accidentally created or if, it is, or if it's a duplicate, you can do it that way. The great thing about the grid is that it can be customized. You are able to mix and match, maneuver whichever columns you want, and to do that you'll need to go to the actions button right above the grid and click on manage columns. This is an extremely helpful tool because you're able to get the exact data you want on a first glance to help save you time instead of endless searching. All you need to do is drag and drop the column names around to how you want them to display and then click on save. It's that simple. I have a couple more things I want to go over real fast, so let's get back to the grid. Now I want to go over the search options for companies. Next to the Actions button we talked about before, we have a drop-down that has All Companies. This drop-down allows you to select a time frame of companies added in the system. You have All Companies, which shows everyone, then This Week, which shows the companies created this week, and This Month for the companies created this month. And then Recently Updated will just show you the accounts that have been updated by means of adding or removing something in their account details recently within a 15 day period. To the right of that we have the actual search button which is an advanced search within the grid. First we have you select one or multiple columns you want to search by. For example if you're looking for the companies associated with healthcare you would select industry then type in healthcare and then search. Then all the companies that are labeled as healthcare will pop up. There are a variety of different options and ways to search to narrow down exactly what you're looking for, so feel free to mess around with that. One last thing with this is search by option. When you are picking columns to filter by, you can either clear everything by clicking on the clear button, or you can click on the trash can icon which will delete that one individual option or criteria. For example, if we have industry and location selected, and you end up changing your mind and you decide you don't want industry anymore, then you can click on the trash can to delete that one option but keep the other. Now let's close this and the last thing I want to mention is don't forget you are able to click on the individual company to get to their detail page. I just want to go into more detail on that in a separate video since there are some cool tricks and shortcuts you can use to view information easier and faster. And that about wraps it up. Hopefully you enjoyed this quick run through to help you navigate and find your companies a lot easier. 
again there are a lot of different filtering options and ways to navigate and find your specific company so you will just have to mess around with the different features and go from there. Thanks again for watching the video and if you found it useful please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to know when a new video drops. Thanks again and we'll see you in the next one.